<laughs> Dr. Holocaust, the auspicious person which I'm dressed as today, is a supervillain who is above all else trying to take over the world so that he can sort of fix humanity. <laughs> I always wanted to tell the story of a supervillain from their point of view because we always hear the story about the hero. We always hear the story about how they, you know, came about on their superpowers and now they decided to be a hero and, you know, go on their quest for goodness and justice and all that stuff. But nobody ever asked the question of why a villain's a villain. Dr. Holocaust as a person wants to intimidate his subjects through being a bigger and better person than everybody else. It's sort of like through showmanship, sort of showing off uh, a very grandiose personality. Uh, presentation, as he believes, is, is one of the biggest parts of being a villain. <laughs> I'm really, really partial towards the very grand and theatrical villains. Um, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna step off into some older stuff here for a second. Um, Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. Get you next time, Gadget. Huge fan. Um, <laughs> people like Noheart from the Care Bears. That was a villain. Noheart was a real villain. He had the castle going and everything. He had a name like Noheart. You never saw his face, always the hood up and everything like that. Crazy big laugh, <laughs> cauldron, evil magic, the whole thing. Um, so like he was he was really pushing all the buttons for me in terms of like super villainy. The ray gun that I've got here, I decided that every super villain needs a great big freaking ray gun, and I wanted to build this this, this massive ray gun that did all these really cool things, and I got a plasma ball and an EL core at the front, and all the little bells and whistles and switches and such, and so I started looking around for you know the biggest Nerf gun that they had on the market so that I could use it as like a, a chassis and you know put all my electrical in the body of it. That was the model that they had that was the biggest one currently, so I grabbed it and modified the junk out of it. I'm starting a patrol. Anyone can join me. I'll see you guys in the streets. Phoenix Jones. <laughs> oh, 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 Phoenix Jones. Um, you know what? Good on those people. Good on them because, I mean, I hear these stories about these guys who, and, and girls, who actually wear costumes and run around in the streets making sure that people are safe. They're basically a very flavored version of the Neighborhood Watch. I love that people get so excited, so enthusiastic about doing the right thing, that they get up, put on a costume, train themselves, and spend their evenings, you know, crawling the streets looking for people that are in trouble.